Hi there, my name's Nigel. I'm a product manager at Oracle. So let's begin by considering a workload running against a database. Let's, for the sake of argument, say there are 750 users of this system and they are generating 750 transactions per second pretty much steadily. Associated with a business transaction is work that the database has to do. I've chosen a metric, logical reads per business transaction. So in other words, this is how much effort is required to execute each individual business transaction. I chose this metric because this is an indication of how many blocks need to be read by from the database in order to process that unit of work. And the purpose of indexes is to reduce this. So if we create suitable indexes, we would expect the number of logical reads to, per business transaction to drop. That's our core aim, if you like. Also notice that the machine is running at somewhere between 75 and 80%, so it's almost entirely and fully utilized. If we attempt to add more users to the system, we can't really get very far before we start to hit, if you like, a maximum transaction rate because the machine is pretty much fully utilized now. We're now waiting for auto indexing to start to kick in. And here we go. So the first thing that happens, uh, so bear in mind that auto indexing kicks in periodically in the background. And so what it's done is it's, it's identified certain columns in the database used by the application that look suitable for indexes. So it's creating some candidates. It creates those candidate indexes as invisible unusable, which means they are purely metadata right now. So that means that the application can't see them, the application can't use them. However, we are able to use the optimizer to test um, SQL statements that the application is using to see whether the optimizer thinks those indexes might be usable. Now, if in fact we query inside the database cursor cache, we can see evidence for SQL statements being test parsed. So the optimizer is test parsing those uh, SQL statements and figuring out whether they are going to use the index or not. So the indexes that it sees will be used, or the indexes that the optimizer feels are useful, it starts to build. So in fact, what's happening next is it's creating invisible valid indexes. So these indexes cannot be seen by the workload, but they are valid. So they're physically being built now and materialized, if you like. Uh, you'll see a slight uptick in CPU utilization because building indexes does take some machine resource. Uh, and in fact, what you're going to see is that not all of these candidates are going to be built because some of the candidates uh, are not going to be used by the optimizer, so we don't waste time building those. So what you're going to see is the number of invisible valid indexes climb. And then we, as soon as that uh, phase is finished, we are now going to enter a new phase which is where the uh, in the background is uh, again auto indexing is physically going to test execute uh, SQL statements that he's that it's taken from the application workload again if we look inside the uh, cursor cache we can see evidence for that so in fact what we're seeing here is a number of statements that are being test executed so you'll see these this little spike as uh, the number of test queries in the cursor cache uh, appear and then the next phase happens very quickly so we'll see this sudden transition now what's happened is it's test executed the query some queries from the application workload it's seen that these invisible and in the uh, invalid indexes can uh, improve the performance of some SQL statements and there those statements uh, those indexes that have uh, resulted in improvement are now built visible valid. Some of the indexes have remained invisible valid because they haven't proven useful for the for the test for the test SQL. Uh, those will be cleaned up eventually, and then the original candidates are remaining as invisible and us usable again on C money application. As a result of making the indexes visible and valid, this now has an effect on the workload. Because the indexes are visible, the workload can now see them. And we have just achieved what we were looking for in that the cost, if you like, the logical reads per business transactions has now dropped very significantly. So in other words, it takes far less machine resource now to process each business transaction. You'll see that the CPU utilization has dropped and uh, the app business transaction rate is pretty similar. Now that's 
interesting reason there's an interesting reason for that and that's because at the moment we have a fixed user population we have something like 750 users we're not pushing any harder so what we've gained so far is headroom on the machine so in other words the machine has more capacity now we could do other things with that spare capacity or if we wish we can are now in a position where we can increase the user population so that's the next thing we'll try let's see what happens if we start to push the machine harder and add more users into the system so that's what's happening now so we're increasing the user population and of course because we created headroom by uh, creating indexes reducing the cost of each business transaction we can now support a much higher user population so at this point we're pushing harder the machine again back up to pretty much maximum capacity logical reads per business transaction is much improved our user population has gone from something like 750 now into somewhere in the region of 2000 users so that is again the effect of creating indexes on the uh, application creating good indexes to improve that are proven to improve the performance of the system overall